and you started with graphic design and I feel like it's evolved since then. So what kind of graphic design did you start out doing? Like what was the, were you looking to get into actual like commercial stuff? Um, <clears throat> it was, it was a way to like help me like organize the things that like I'd always had trouble getting the ideas from my head into like a physical medium. Like it looks this way in my head, but when I do this, it doesn't look the same at all. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a way to help get like some structure to figuring out what mediums would work better for what. And the more I did, the closer it got to getting me on the path where like the stuff that I do now, which is mostly digital because I don't really have a lot of space left, mm -hmm. <laughs> like physical space. Right. So using like new Photoshop and the company True Grit, uh, True Grit Fly Company, they do like digital brushes and things. They have like old packets of like kind of old school graphics. Yeah. Like background stamps, different brush techniques in between that and all the filters and things you can do on Photoshop. I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying that <clears throat> technology has caught up to the point where like I can now get the stuff out of my head and it actually looks like it does in my brain. <laughs> how long did that so how long did it take for that to finally start happening? <laughs> I don't know, like 15, 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I do like but I do like that you were going, I'm gonna take this traditional method just because I know that they have the tools and I'm gonna basically learn it for applying it to what I want to do. So were you, what would you say your style was at the time that you were actually taking these graphic design courses? Was it similar to what you do now or were you still kind of feeling it out? I'm kind of feeling it out. I was drawing through like, I was doing like watercolor, but and also just like basic ink design sketches and things like that. Pretty basic things. Although I was also doing layering with, you know, you cut like take like four, different images or whatever and cut something out of this one and lay it over that and cut a little another piece out of this and lay it over that until you get like a more uh, detailed or in-depth yeah. picture. And yeah, my stuff was pretty basic, it's not the right word, but it had like a simpler, just a lot of like line drawing stuff. Yeah. And I figure out the color compositions with the way that like watercolor would like bleed into each, itself and things like that. And the watercolor ones were a way to help me figure out this weird like recurring dream I kept having. <laughs> Explain <laughs> what's that? It was this like <clears throat> uh, it was this weird like faceless being that would like jump through different realities with like not portals, but like these weird zippers would open through uh -huh. and yeah. <laughs> wow. I, love, I thought about it, but yeah. <laughs> is that, is this a piece that you have displayed somewhere or? No, that was in my, uh, my first portfolio, which okay. got stolen. It got stolen. And, yep. And then my second portfolio got stolen. So I stopped keeping a portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> or you just need to pay more attention to your stuff. I mean, it's, it could be either way. Yeah, well, that that happened, and then what? It was let's see, nineteen thousand. See, a couple of years after I moved here, and I'd been in an efficiency apartment for a while, and I finally got a one bedroom. Mm -hmm. I invited people over to my apartment to have a housewarming party, and that was all like, Mew. right. And then people leave, and I go to sleep, and I get up in the morning, and I had. I'd taken like three or four paintings and like stripped them off of the frames or whatnot and rolled them up and I had them sitting next to where my shoes were by the door because I was going to take them and do reframing and whatnot and they were all gone. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had just left with my stuff. It's kind of like, I appreciate that people like my stuff, but, <laughs> <laughs> but nobody's stolen anything in like two decades, so that's good. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, and you probably are... Uh, eventually you only invite people to your house that you actually like know whereas parties it's like oh that's a friend of a friend of a friend you know the more people the better <laughs> now it's just like i don't know that person why would i have them at my house 